Willkommen zurück zur Pro Choices Show. Ich bin der Gasterberger Chris mit meinem Co-Moderator David. <lacht> welcome, welcome to Episode 14 of the Pro Choices Show. <lacht> Uh, I'm your host, Chris, and I'm crying. Join alongside me, my co-host, David. And I speak English, so I'm not entirely sure what he just said. Let's make some poor choices. <laughs> Well, episode uh, 14. 14. I think last week I went first, so why don't you tell us what you're drinking this week, sir? I am drinking a horchata cream ale. Oh. And that is by... Is horchata like like cinnamon? It is, it's like cinnamon and rice. Like a rice... Okay. Something, like a, something. Like a, like a rice... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's by Epic Brewing. So is that going to be more of a dessert beer? Hochata cream? Like that sounds like it'd be more. It almost like sounds like holiday-ish, like festive. I'll let you know. It's good. It's good. It's got like. It's like light and crisp with like a, a cinnamon aftertaste. Okay. And cinnamon like lingers. Fucking, Fucking linger, lingers. man. <laughs> I would say if we wanted to get a little more specific, as you mentioned a couple episodes ago. Yeah. I'll give it like a, a 7.83. Oh, you went you went to the 10th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How about yeah, you? We didn't What'd do that. I think last week we stuck to... Uh, yeah, yeah typical, I think we did. Typical has. Um, so I have a, it's called Breezy Does It, as opposed to like like Easy Does It, Breezy Does It, uh, by the Left Hand Brewing Company. Um, it is a passion fruit sour ale, and they are based out of a place. I think, didn't I have a left hand a couple weeks ago? I think you did. I think I did. Oh, here we go. They're from Longmont, Colorado. That's not where mine was from. Hmm. Well, let's see. Breezy does it. Let's I don't remember see. those words ever coming out of my mouth. It's not bad. It definitely has the the fr- the fruity. Like it it it's just like a bag of like take say you had like a bag of like Skittles and you put all of them in your mouth at once like every flavor. So you know, it's like a natural like that not you can't pinpoint the fruit flavor to it. If I um, if I had to equate me doing that to a beer, I'd give it a nine. But it's not that sour. I just mean throwing a throwing a handful of Skittles in my mouth. I meant more of like the flavor profile is like just like that general fruit flavor. Like you can't. Okay. It says it's passion fruit, but it's it's fruity. You know, that's all I got for it. It's like eating some like some. Fruit chews, you know. Okay, it's just it's fruity. Um, if we're getting to technical, like you were doing, down to the what tenth, I'd probably give it like a seven five five. It's okay. Okay. If it was a little more sour, if it had that bite to it, um, it'd be in the eights. But it's it's it kind of just hits like a fruit fruit ale. Like if you told me this was a sour after I drank it, I'd say you're a liar. Okay, so it does, it just, it's not. It's it doesn't literally have that, not that sour. It doesn't have that 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 crisp that bite. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't make my my cheeks. You know what I mean? Like you just ate a warhead. Mm-hmm. Which I really want out of a sour. So, hey, uh, left hand, it's decent, but you need more uh, more clench. Not of the butthole. Well, to each their own. Well, if you want the butthole, I mean, whatever. <laughs> All right. Well, similar to last week, I have some yeah. some fourteen facts, statistics, interesting shit. 
just about the number 14 for being episode 14. Oh, you look okay. very okay. Okay, we good. Yeah, wasn't sure where that was going. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. here we are. Got it. Got it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn a couple of these into questions. Maybe maybe all of them if I can. Okay. Not not all of them. Can't turn all of them. Not all of them. Got it. So first, do you know which the muffin ele- man? Oh, sorry. Do you the muffin man? The muffin man. All right. Sorry. Go ahead. Do you know what element has the atomic number of fourteen? Um, gold. No, that's like seventy something, isn't it? Well, don't I don't know. Like way <laughs> down there. Oh, so so uh, cobalt. No, that's a good get for no specific reason. That's a good guess. I'll give you one more. Uh, you want a clue that'll give it away? Is it a metal? No. Well, no. Okay. No. Um, hey, give me the clue. Think of a dildo. Rubber, latex. Think more elemental of each of those. Um, think of condoms. Yeah, latex. I said that. Think of lube. Slippery. That's not a. That's not an element. Um, think of. You said give it away. Yeah, I, thought, I don't know. I figured it would. I think when I tell you, it might. The answer is silicone. Oh, you should have said computer chip. Okay. Okay. <laughs> or sand. Yeah. yeah. Sa- sand. Well, that's how you make silicone. It's like melted down sand. I don't. I don't think you make an element out of other things. I thought silicone was like sand. Maybe it's sand and so maybe silicone is like brand name. You look like you're googling it, so I'll wait. Yeah. Uh, silicone dioxide, also known as silica, is an oxide of silica with the chemical uh, commonly found in nature as quartz, and majority of the content is sand. Okay, got it. Okay. So silica, silica is the major constituent. Constituent. That's the word of sand. So all your computer chips are made of sand. There you go. Bam. <laughs> all my computer chips are made of sand. Yeah, because you know computer chips are all silica. That's a- that's a no. There's that's a that's a brand. There's silica in them. Oh, okay. So so is it like sand? Ifto Valley, facto, California sand in your computer. <laughs> well, quartz, know. but just sand. That's what they use to mine is sand because that's mostly quartz. Okay. Fuck off. Tell the tell the audio listeners why you're not telling me to fuck off and why you're saying fuck off. So the fucking Yankees just hit a fucking. They're calling it a home run. The ball so. It went to right field at Candom Yards, and and the ball landed at the base of the foul pole, which is painted black. So it's like there's there's probably I'd say it was probably like a foot of black paint, and then it goes into the yellow. So is that is that how the the rule works? If you hit below the yellow, it's not a home run. Well, the black part is above the wall, and it went right. Like foul poles are like just a bunch of like you know crosses and triangles like yeah. just stru- just a structure and it went right into it so it's a home run but why is it black i don't know but it's a home run and fuck the yankees so it's like my th- my thought process is, is that much my, black my thought process is that <laughs> yeah. if it's black and transitions to yellow but it's but you the black part fucking thing again oh stop doing that the black part is above the wall right but why is it black does that signify it's not a home run? Because if it's no. above the wall, it's a home run. I feel like that's one of those things that, like, if we looked at every ballpark in America, I'd be like, oh, the base of every foul pole is black. But why? I don't know, dude. I don't work there. <laughs> hmm. Back to where we were. Mm-hmm. Uh, so 14 days or two weeks, which this blew my mind, is considered a fortnight. Okay. Which I didn't, like, I haven't seen you in a fortnight. Like, I didn't, I guess I never really tried like to. Like, you thought that was a longer length of time like I, I, yeah i think so okay maybe i don't know i guess i've never really thought about it i could understand that because i didn't know that's how long a fortnight was if you said i haven't seen you in a fortnight i'd be like oh like a month like yeah you know a year. I, guess, I mean you're like, halfway yeah I, yeah I don't know well how long is four scores in seven years ago how long is a score a score is 20 one score equals 20 so 20 four what? scores would be 80 80 87 what? Years so four so when Lincoln said four score and seven years ago that's eighty seven years. What did he say after that? I have no idea. Okay, so all we got's eighty seven. We don't know what he was talking about eighty seven years ago. Well, it was the Gettysburg Address. I can tell you that much. But what four oh, score well, seven years ago? Um, the next line was: Our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. I knew that. Fuck. I didn't know it exactly, but I knew it. I knew it. I think you you knew, like, you've just heard that before. 
Like it's one of those like once you hear it, you're like, oh yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you. Okay. So yeah, uh, a couple more. So did you know in the UK they don't measure weight in pounds? Correct. What do stone. they measure it in? Huh. Stone. Did you know that one stone is fourteen pounds? Didn't know that, but I did know they they weigh in stone. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, can you tell me who the fourteenth president was? I can't. Um, can you give me his initials? F P. P as in I've, Paul? I've never heard P as in Paul. I've never heard this name in my life. F P. Um so you've never heard the name. What's the last name? Pierce. Let's see if I get Yeah, no, I got nothing. Franklin Pierce. What years did he serve? Uh eighteen something to eighteen something from what I saw earlier. Oh, thank you so much. That's uh I wanna say fifty, fifty, eighteen fifty seven. So he was right before Lincoln. Hmm. Isn't that coincidental? Eighteen fifty three to eighteen fifty seven. Not right it was, before it. Cause, oh, yeah, because Lincoln was – no, well, Lincoln was James the 16th. James Buchanan came after Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, because Lincoln was 16. 16? 16 16th what? president. President. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Well, there you okay. go. I've never Frank, heard that name What did you life. say? F- Franklin Pierce? Mm-hmm. Good for him. And this one is for you in particular. Mm-hmm. Did you know that the max number of clubs you can carry in golf is 14? I did. Cool. <laughs> well, let me ask you no, if no, you – No, 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 no. The max number in a competition that matters and it's actual like a scored competition, you can have 14. You're out there playing with your boys. You can have 45 clubs. No one gives a well, fuck. Yeah. I mean, we're going we're going actual rules here. Right, right. You could bring yeah. what you could putt with your driver while you're out with me. I don't give a fuck. You Absolutely. Could, you so, could so duct tape a white claw at the end of your. Typically, <laughs> I could I could bring my uh, present that you bought me. That's the best thing in the world. So David got me a. Uh, that's like a wood. It's like a three wood head and it goes down into a, a cylinder body and then it has a little tap on it that you can pump. <laughs> so you can bring your favorite beverage to put in that body and then you put that into your golf bag and you pump your favorite beverage into your cup whenever you please. It's the best thing in the world. Um, so, f- yeah, 14 clubs. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you if you knew these rules about golf. OK. Did, did you know that if your ball is lodged in an orange – you cannot take relief without penalty. Yeah, play the ball as it lies. <laughs> Happy Gilmore taught me that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, with that being said, yeah. if your shot ends up in the clubhouse and the clubhouse isn't considered out of bounds, you can open a window or door and play your next shot without penalty. Some very egregious uh, circumstances you're talking about here, but okay. Yeah. I don't make the rules, man. Okay. Another one I have is if two players using identical balls with no differentiating marks Ooh, and the players idiots. are unable to determine whose balls whose ball is whose. Right. How do both, you determine what's the both players are penalized a stroke and must go back and play their previous shots. Oh, wow. So my my only thought to that That's was wild. Do you just estimate your previous shot? Like you don't know exactly where you hit it from. Um. That's a good point, too. Well, although, one, if it was a tee shot, obviously you know where you're going to hit from. Right. Two, if it wasn't a tee shot, you're going to know the general area and you're going to know where your dip was and probably be able to find it for the most part from okay. your previous shot. Um, that's a great – that's a that's a good rule. Yeah. That's really good. I haven't heard that one before. I like that. And the last one I had there – was, there was tons, but I figured I'd, I'd keep it a little limited. The last one I have yeah. – the last one I have I, I took – Sort of out of experience from that time that you and I went, and I think it's hole three in that old Bayside Lakes court where we used to spend like 13 balls trying to hit it across that big-ass fucking pond. Remember that? No, no, not number three, not even close. Two? Nope, that's on the back nine. No. No, 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 one, no, oh, no, no, no. The one where we can drive the green across yeah, the Yeah, not, not the one where Jose was eating his lunch that one time. No, 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 no. The one where behind the green is a big net and there's a pool? No. There's no pond there. Yes, there is. There's I'm water talking. right in front of you. So really early on where it's like you got to hit. Ideally, you hit straight and then you hit to the right to the green. Oh, yep. Got it. It's and like I could go. Three, right? And I, every time we got there, I'd go, should I hit driver? Yeah. Right. 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 So was it, was it me, you, and Sam that were there the one time when we were on the green and like a ball like dropped right behind us? I don't know if it was when Sam was there, but I do remember that happening. Okay. Yeah. So apparently there's a rule that if you're struck by a ball from the group behind you and you hit it or kick it angrily, you'll suffer a penalty of two shots. 
So if you get hit by someone else's ball and you kick their ball, you get penalized. Yeah. And again, I, I understand that in a professional yeah. aspect. Well, I mean, look, but... we're not we're not talking about you and me golfing because I don't think there's a rule that we abide by. Yeah. Um, you have to drink at least three beers on the front nine, take a shot of fireball by then, and then finish your six back by the back nine. I mean, that's the rule. That must be rule 36 to B slash 14. So do you remember <laughs> – um, David and I took <laughs> we took one liter bottles of mimosas onto the golf course <laughs> for oh probably a six forty five tea time in the morning, give or take. Because six fifty three probably. Yeah, it was summertime in Florida, so it doesn't matter what time of day, humidity is a hundred. But if at yeah. least you start at six fifty in the morning, at least it's not a hundred degrees. It's just sticky. Um, and we pre made one liter bottles of mimosas. <laughs> And it got to the point where as we got through holes one, two, and three, they were getting warm very quickly. So we had to consume even quicker. Um, that led to a great day. Great day. I think. Yeah. I don't quite recall. Yeah, it was awesome. So I, I remember, I'll never forget first, because I had never golfed before living at that at that old house. And I, I remember the, the first conversation with you was like, you know, you live, what, 300 500 feet from a golf course when we go and golfing and i was like I, dude i've been to a driving range like three times in my life i don't right. i don't know how to golf and you were like you know how to drink right i was like yeah and you're like then you know how to golf <laughs> i was like sold Look, sold that's don't have to tell me twice 90 percent of the reason all these dudes are out there i mean yeah. you got you got your grinders but we're not out there trying to play for a green jacket like we're yeah. just out there to yeah, do what we got to do, especially and, you and I. And, I. and I think I told you about that conversation I had with with Kyle. Uh, mm -hmm. I think before you had met him, when he was, I, I can't remember how we got into it, but he was like, "Do you golf?" And I was like, "I mean, I, I, I golf. Like, I perform the act of golfing, but like, no, I don't. Right? I don't. I wouldn't golf. call myself a golfer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he was like, "Oh, you gotta, you gotta take some lessons, man." And I was like, "Yeah, I told you that too." No, but I was like like paid lessons and he's like yeah i'm like my buddy's been golfing since he was like four like right, we were right. playing with tickle me elmo and he was out there with a nine iron like i don't right, right right he was like no 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 you need like a pro and i'm like so you want me to get him to sign a piece of paper it's probably all you have to do to say you're a professional golf teacher whatever <laughs> teacher yeah, yeah trainer yeah, lesson giver i was like yeah, yeah. what what is what is a, a professional gonna do for me when Literally, my goal is to be hammered by the back nine. Just have a good time. Yeah. Like, you guys Not are playing mention, off this scorecard. Uh, like, par for me is like a beer and a half a hole. Well, and I can recollect several times where I was like, David, move your hands like this or stand like this. And then you'd swing and you'd go, holy and it, shit. And it'd be perfect. And yeah, then you'd like, be like four beers shit. later, it's. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's down. It's down the drain, but so yeah. is mine. So it didn't matter. We're good. I'm like um, Kyle, like yeah. you don't, you and I have different goals when we go out there. Yours is to get it in the hole. My hole is my throat, and the ball is this white claw. <laughs> like, come on, dude. I mean, we would crack, we would crack our, because we'd always bring our own, as you, as you do. Right. So you're not paying ten bucks a beer on a golf course. Um, and we'd be like, all right, hole one, we finished, and we'd pull up the hole two and be like, well, might as well. And this is like seven thirty in the morning, and we did yeah. this for probably a year. Give we had a good year, like a we good did year. Have a good, stretch. Yeah, good solid year. And I think COVID fucked us up on that. It did. Yeah, it did. Because then we got. A we actually we even played a little bit after COVID. Do you remember that when they had like, like the two or three um, times? Yeah, they had like the pool noodles and stuff going on. Do you remember that? No, maybe you don't. So they had like pool noodles um, on the golf hole, the flags themselves. Do you remember that? No. Yeah, oh, I got. I got to. We'll have to find like a like Google a golf COVID pool noodle picture but it was sounds very whatever specific they, yeah <laughs> whatever they did it was to make it so that like you didn't have to touch the same thing that everyone's touching kind of thing you don't remember that you're touching the pool noodle no fuck I'm trying to remember no so you you didn't touch the flag but something with pool noodles <laughs> <laughs> yeah i got nothing you, you were definitely there so that's that's my uh my my golf fun facts are you scared to pull noodles? Should I be? I was trying to segue into my next thing. Okay. Okay. D David, are you scared of pull noodles as we were just discussing our pull noodle <laughs> phobia? 
No. Great. So I want you to see if you can uh, figure out what these weird phobias mean. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So, David, what are these weird phobias? What are, what are they a fear of? You ready? I'm ready. All right. Let me hit you with a uh, ombrophobia. A fear of ombres. It's a fear of rain. If it falls into a category, researchers term natural environment phobias, which also includes hurricanes, as ombrophobia. Okay. I like I liked your answer, though. That was, that was way better than the real answer. Yeah. Um, that one, you probably already know, trypophobia. A fear of either tripping or traveling. Um, no, it's so that it's that fear that you've probably seen it of like repetitive patterns of holes. Mm. You know what I mean? That. Yeah. Are they holes okay. or are they circles in general? Uh, it's holes. And then especially if something's coming out of that hole. So if you had a bunch of holes and you squeeze something and it comes through it, like that would be a trypophobia. Okay. Trypophobia. Now, let me ask you this. Yeah. If you're trypophobic, could right. you watch the movie Holes? Dig it up, up, oh, dig it, dig it up, up. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. Well, that's too damn bad. You keep digging. Well, excuse me. <laughs> Love that movie. Fucking one of my favorites of all time. But I'm going to say no. Okay. Um, how about phobophobia? It's a fear of phobias. Yeah, it's the fear of fear itself. Well, fear of a name only increases fear of the thing itself. Uh, hey, I see what you did there. <laughs> How about that? Which size it? Dig it up, up, oh, <laughs> dig it. <laughs> okay. How about uh, omphalophobia? One more time. Omphaloph. <laughs> It'd probably be better if you just spell it for me. Omph. <laughs> yep. Now I got nothing. Um, o m p h a. Omph. Omph. Omphalophobia. 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 Fear of Oompa Loompas. So that was my first thought. Um, it's fear of belly buttons. People with this condition are unable to touch the navel area, look at someone else's, or even think about them. Hmm. Okay. Okay. How about globophobia? Fear of globes or the earth? In a sense. Or in a the sense. World? Nope. These these things spherical are objects? spherical. These things are spherical. These specific things are spherical at your parties. Balloons. Mm -hmm. Fear of uh, the phobia often originates from a traumatic event, especially at a young age when popping balloons caused a jump scare. Hmm. So, you know, that, that's that's how you're fuck. supposed to um, stop dogs from digging holes. Like if you have a dog that digs holes, you're supposed to find a spot that they commonly dig in and bury right. a balloon there. So next time they dig there, they'll pop the balloon and it'll scare the shit out of them. And it's supposed to like scare them straight. I'm going to try this 34-letter phobia. I'm going to try. It's a fear of long words. It is. It I've is. Seen that one. Hippopotomonstrosequipedaliophobia. Holy crap. How about okay. zoopho zoophobia? Fear of animals. Fear of animals. How about... Which is weird because what, what would a fear of zoos be called? I think it'd probably be the same, wouldn't it? No, because that's what is it? Oh, no, zoophobia. Well, no, if that's, that's what I, if that's oh, that, animals, yeah, it's animals. That's got to be it. Because a zoo is literally animals, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, one more for you. One more. Okay. Okay. How about iso isoptrophobia? Isoptrophobia. Spell it. E I S O P trophobia. You're over there typing. I can see it. <laughs> yeah, he said. Not. He said. He said. Spell it. It's it's not what you think, I promise. I promise. Can I promise, you I promise. Uh, spell that? You said E I S O P. Hey Chris, could you uh, spell how that is? E I S O P T R O P H O B I A. So it's like so Isop Trophobia. Isop Trophobia. It's a fear of Aesop's fables. I was gonna say Aesop Rocky. Um That's ASAP Rocky. Oh, you're right. No, it's a fear of mirrors. Fear of mirrors. Wouldn't that be like reflectophobia? Uh -huh. you, you do have to say that. You can't just not tell them there's a gun in the car or on you or whatever it is. Because we're a right to carry state. Right to carry state. And you don't correct. need a permit. That is correct. That is correct. Can you name some other right to carry states? I could only think of one. It's probably Texas. That That's an open carry state. 
So that okay. means you don't have to conceal. So um, Idaho, Are we the... I know, is... Oh, really? Yeah. So is it just Idaho and Florida where you can conceal carry without a permit? I don't think it's just them. I was just going to ask if you knew anybody from Idaho. Yeah, Mr. Nick Knack Tallywack. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> the fuck did you just do? <laughs> we got a special guest here Holy tonight. Holy shit. Damn, that was so good. Chris, you didn't know I was coming on? No, nah. I have fucking butterflies I, I, right I, I now. I'm so excited. <laughs> I blindsided his ass. <laughs> so we still got like a lot of the episode to go. Um, yeah. We haven't got into our Ask Reddit. Do you want to get into that? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Let's do it. Right. Hey, real quick though, Chris. So yeah, bitch. David gave me like uh, 10 minutes for this. <laughs> okay. That's what we're representing as White Claw today. All we all we ask is that you're drinking, so that's fine. <laughs> I literally, dude, I literally texted him at like it was probably like eight ish. It's yeah, that's like here, I was like, so. hey, wanna wanna make a guest appearance on the podcast? David, I like, honestly, let's do it. And I was like, cool, I'll send you a link. <laughs> so when you thought like, I was looking up that uh, whatever the the Aesop fucking fables phobia bullshit, yeah, I was texting Tally. Jesus Christ, we're. <laughs> We're here. I'm in my daughter's room. It. That's why I had to use a fake backdrop and everything. Dude, my, right. my daughter's room I, is cooler than mine. I don't want to sound weird here. Um, <laughs> it's going to sound weird. Um, I I still have a pair of your swimming trunks, Tally. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a guess. Me wear from that. what? I don't want to sound well, weird here. Like, what, eight, I don't, eight years I don't think we've ever uh, referenced uh, Tally on the podcast or is, mentioned his name or anything. So for you to say that what, out of context, people are going to have, have some ideas. Definitely from Destin, um, <laughs> which might be the last time we saw each other. Yeah, because I couldn't make it out to uh, David's wedding. So yeah, fuck me. He might have if you that's got his. When you got that's yeah. when you got the shorts. <laughs> now they don't fit. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Did they at the time? Yeah, thousand percent. Well, I was still I was still a cigarette smoker at the time, so I weighed one hundred fifty soaking wet. But uh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, um, that's yeah, fair. Uh, well, let me uh, get off that weird topic and go into some ask Reddit for you, gentlemen. Um, yeah, go for it. And I think I found one that I think is a, a good one. We're okay. we're gonna see. All right, so. You guys are given immortality, but as a cost, you're sent back 3,000 years ago. Would you accept it, and what would you do? Die, I guess. Oh, I mean, immortality. No, immortality. Yeah. no I would, uh, I'd would. i go back. So you would accept it? Yeah, because you're never going to die. So I'd never still gonna be die. here. It would take a while. Okay. I would know everything I know now. So it's like 1,000 BC, give yeah. or take. Okay. And I can't die. You're immortal. Yeah, I'm taking it. You know how rich Th- I'll that's be? That's it? I, um, what more do you want? Yeah. I didn't preface it with you. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. So you know what you know now. Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, but but you never die. That's the thing. Like, that's you don't right. just come back to this time and you're good to go. That's right. It's yeah. always and forever. Well, what do you mean? I'm, I'm not good to go. I will be good to go. No, no. You're, you're never going to die. You're always right. going to be alive. Does that not sound like it would get old and just life? Life as a, yeah. a rich, successful yeah. white person in the USA? You're thinking too small. Yeah, you're thinking you, too you're, small. You're thinking way too small. Right. The USA's only been here for 200 right. years. I'll get here eventually. Whatever. Two something. Yeah. But then what? How about when this ends? Well, what is... I guess it's it's hard to speak on what you don't know. So like when an asteroid hits and the entire world gets knocked out, like I'm still here. Just chilling. You're still floating around. Just me out, and dude. only me. Yep. Yep. I guess I'm going to be fucking aliens or something at some point i don't know so you would do it y- yeah i guess i don't see why not nothing nothingness scares me though like there's like right you planets end but you so then won't. like and you do yeah but if <clears throat> universe ends then you're just in a void of nothingness but something somewhere is going to come pick you up eventually right like they're going to know you're out there not necessarily Chris, this is why I told you last episode or however many episodes ago that I watched. Tally, did you watch that Three Body Problem show on Netflix? Mm-mm. It's made me start like thinking about space a lot. It's all I do. It's all I do anymore. That's why I can't answer yes to this. Literally every night I, wa- I would go to sleep watching shit about space. And you need you need to up. watch that Three Body Problem show then because it's going to like I, I'm not going to talk about it and give away anything. But it's like I'm not going to watch it. It's it, it is so good. 
Tal, you would enjoy it. Chris would enjoy it, but I know I can't. He's like the, mm. the, the critic of America. I can't convince him to watch anything. I think I watched 10 minutes of it. You would or you did? I think I did already. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you, you're, you're saying those 10 minutes, you're like, meh? No, I'm, I'm a dad, dude. I don't uh, know. Okay. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. Dude, I've, I've already started watching Bluey like on Sunday mornings. I, I drink my coffee. I sit in the recliner and the news ends and I'm like, well, eh, put on Bluey. And let me get used to it. My daughter, I picked her up today and she's like, Dad, I have the biggest, biggest surprise for you. And I was like, can't wait. And she's like getting into how she's running in. She's like, open up the backpack. Don't look. Close your eyes. And then she's like, open them. Look. And it's a bluey shirt that says like bluey dad. I like it. She's like, are you going to wear it on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Come on. Um, it should be on your it should be on your back right now. What? What's bluey? <laughs> uh, a t-shirt she got me. No, oh, no. What? You don't, yeah, it's a show. It's okay. like a it's okay. it's like an Australian dog show that or maybe he's English. I think he's Austra- well, I don't know whatever accent he has Australian she, she by the way well the dad's not a yeah, she, yeah I don't know but then has like a brother yeah. or a sister that's a different breed I don't know nah okay they're all blue hillers they're just different colors anyways <laughs> it's it's based on what I've seen it's the only one that I'm gonna enjoy watching okay okay bluey got yeah. it got it bluey segment for the dads out there so. What's your answer, Chris? Would you do it? No. Pussy. It's f- to be immortal? No way. Hmm. But if you could be immortal and choose when you die, sure. That'd be all right. It contradicts itself, though. Like, you're not immortal then. You're not going to die. That's what, But I mean, like, you have the ability to end it when you want, though. That's oh, then a than thousand percent I would. Yeah. yeah. Like, if I could be like, after 5,000 years, I'm over it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would. Um, like how, how cool would it be just to go through like all the Christ exactly. phase with no like exactly. right, being able to write in English? So there's a like, there's a pretty cool movie. It's kind of low budget and you're never going to watch it. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons. Or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. They go in, you know, immortal without health issues, question mark. Um Hey. I've already done 37 years and uh, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking, Doug. That's what I was thinking. No, no, that sounds awful <laughs> all the way around. First off, I do not want to be immortal. Second off, I do not want to go back to the time when there was no flushing toilets. Yuck. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're immortal, you're going to get over it. It's not a big yeah, deal. Yeah, that's what I think, me, too. Me and Tally have uh, been, to, been to Kuwait. Uh, they don't really believe in flushing toilets there either. Right. And to your point, David, to the toilet, it's a it's a trap. You'd end up in space because the Earth was a different spot back then. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada. You said how many years? Oh, three thousand. Oh, yeah. That guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah. Three thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, yes, it was. was, I mean, it's always at a different spot, but no one said you're not going to be still on Earth. Like, huh? Um, So David's a yes. Tally myself. Hard nose. Hard nose. Absolutely not. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Hard no. Hard no. Okay. Well, mine is, Chris, and this is what I was referencing last episode about I your... I can't believe Tally's here. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, go ahead. About your uh, your rooster teeth, fellas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? Tally's beard matched his background when he pulled it up. Do it again. Like, do it again? Oh, oh, what? what? <laughs> he got that Invisibeer. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Fucking Harry Potter up in here. All right, go ahead. Harry Potter special edition beer. Uh, all right, so mine is... You and a super intelligent snail both get a million dollars. I already know this one. Oh, yeah. I already know it. Yeah. However, you know die if the snail touches you. It always yeah. knows where you are and slowly Heard this 10 years ago. towards you. Yeah. What's your plan? So some, Walk the other way. So what? <laughs> I, I think the best one I saw is a better question is what would a snail do with a million dollars? There was so, – uh, What's the rate of what's the rate of speed of a of a traveling snail though, and can they cross the ocean? Like, well, no, so so that was that, that was, was my first thought. Okay, well, you was to fly on. and move to no, just move to somewhere in Europe. Okay, and if it if it can travel across the ocean or down on the floor and then finally get there, I'm just gonna fly back. Once well, it, I know. Could, oh, it could. There's the snail. I'm gonna go to the airport. It it could get into someone's luggage and also fly across. All right. All right. That's fair. That's but fair. Do you, um, I, I don't think you know where he is, though. So, like, you wouldn't be like, oh, he touched down. He, I'm going back. So, middle of the night, I'm dead asleep, and here he is, and then I'm done. Yeah. Why? So, are we sure it's a he, though? That that changes things a bit. Okay. Why don't does gender that this change snail, please? 
I mean, I'm <laughs> eager. Don't gender <laughs> snails, boys. Come on now. <laughs> Continue. Hold on. I'm looking up the average rate of snail speed. It's here. Male and like, female, please. It's got to be like 0. 0.03 miles per Good. hour. Good. Yeah. Let, that's it. Yeah. Did you look that up? That's exactly what it is. 0. 0.03? Yeah. No way. Chad GBT doesn't lie, dog. Right. Male and female? <laughs> Not it says non-binary snails. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, just making sure. <laughs> oh shit! So some some of these were great though. This dude said um, I'd put it in a box. Yeah, that's what a lot of people say. But then there's always rules about like if you're touching like all this kind of shit, and no one else could touch it for you. Well, like it gets real. Okay, so this one didn't declare any rules because another one said pay someone to launch the snail into space using a small rocket with just enough power to launch it into the earth's orbit hold up let me tweet it elon real quick do you even need that probably not can't can't you just put it on a normal rocket that's going up anyways and have a good day can you run it over um yeah can you attack the snail because the snail going out what'd you say 0.03 miles an hour i guess 0.03 just smash it with a shovel have a good day Okay, and so is that your answer? So uh, there was a couple other good ones. I mean, is that considering touching it? Because I'm touching the shovel. Like, what are we talking? I don't. I don't know those specific. Nothing's declared in this. So another guy said, "Purchase a salt mine and live at the <laughs> office." <laughs> another guy said, "Put a cup on it and enjoy my life." And this one, my favorite, said, "Build a wall and make the snail pay for it." Damn, I'm gonna send you another link, David. So without car travel or anything, traveling at point zero three miles per hour would take three thousand four hundred and four days to get Jesus. to you if you from New York to LA. Unless he hopped on a flight. That's what that's what I was saying. Without any kind of yeah. just snail travel through over thirty so four hundred days. It's the the question is you and a super intelligent snail. Yeah, it's getting on a it's getting on a on a yeah. flight or something. Or if he's that so, intelligent, I mean he's gonna create some sort of He'll he'll so, buy GPS technology. He'll know where you're at. Is it a what's the preface to it? Is it a million dollars butt kind of thing? You and a super intelligent snail both get a million dollars, and you both become immortal. However, you die if the snail touches you. So back to basically back. Well, to then you're no, immortal because we don't want to be immortal. Yeah, but let the snail touch you whenever you want. Then good right, point. but that kind of solves my issue good from point. before. But. You gotta. Oh, there's you Gary. Gotta control Come on and touch me, right? Right. You, though I guess because like he could touch you tomorrow. You yeah. So you have to like let him when you're ready. But how do you avoid him until you're ready? Yeah, sleep around, sleep around salt or something. That's what uh, this dude purchase a salt mine and sleep at the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. What's he? What do you think he's doing at the office though? The guy or the snail? <laughs> the guy. I mean, a million dollars, but I mean, immortal. That million bucks isn't going to make it last too long. Especially with the way me and David trade, it'd be gone in a week. Maybe it's like a maybe it's like a really <laughs> successful salt mine. I don't know. This guy probably doesn't go to fucking Sammy's on Friday nights and ask where his buddy went. And she's like upstairs, and he's like, yeah. "Well, I want to go upstairs." And she's like, "Well, it's like four hundred bucks." And you're like, "Yeah, okay, sign me up." So you're talking like like Himalayan salt mine, like the real deal. I, I don't know. Nah. Okay. I, I'm All pretty right. sure sodium chloride kills snails. So yeah, I don't. I don't know. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go with yeah, yes. I'll figure yes, it out. It's, I mean, it, I'm gonna do it. It's not a yes or no. It's a it's a what's your plan? Oh, what would you do? Oh, um, oh, what would you do? What, Man, what would your plan be? Okay. Um, I think we just talked about yeah, that for we ten did. minutes. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. I think I think my plan would be the same the same thing I would do in a zombie apocalypse, and I would go out to sea on a huge yacht. Yeah, and just okay. float. Yeah, because then you're you're gonna see that snail coming. Yeah, all, all he can do is fucking parachute in. Yeah, but right? don't you have to resupply? Like, how are you gonna survive out there forever? You um, know what I mean? They got these things called fish, <laughs> and you got water all that's a, all, I'm, I'm all letting, around you. I'm letting the snail touch me <laughs> day one. Or <laughs> I mean, can he do it now? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know here how to hit. So I shouldn't go. <laughs> we, that can, we, can, we don't we, either. To we be can honest, call, yeah, we just we just went over that. Only seventy yeah. percent of them are U.S. Let's, so. It's live, laugh, to- toaster bath, you know, <laughs> toaster bath. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Um, what was our um, Australian audience, David, percentage? Like 2.8 or something like that. You got some Australian right. shit to talk about? Yeah, I want you to see if you can uh, tell me some Australian slang. 
Bluey. We just talked about Bluey. We what did. Is, what does Bluey mean in Australian? That is uh, probably bl- like this a name. Lazy person, like a Bluey. Did you make that up? Nope. Yeah. Nope. That's a real thing. Yep. Interesting. At least <laughs> where I'm at, that's a real in thing. Chris's, <laughs> in Chris's world. It is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else you got? How about Brecky? Breakfast. Oh yeah. Yeah, breakfast. Yeah, it's an easy one. Um, Give me Denny. About Billy. Denny. Next. No, say Billy. A Billy Club. Uh, no, it's not a Billy Club. No, it's a Billy. No clue. Um, we got most important object in a kitchen. A Billy, for example, would be a teapot. We have the most important thing in my kitchen. Yeah, probably whatever girl I'm talking to. So she never mind. You're, no, you're you're right. But I don't I don't know if appliances count tally so you can't include mm. the dishwasher in that well gotcha <laughs> well yours would be the the blender then i guess right uh no i don't i don't drink frozen though i probably spatula okay that's your billy uh, yeah i guess how about underrated it man how about chuck a sicky what chuck a sicky Ta- like throw a ball or something like uh oh like i see where you're going chuck a sicky and chuck a sicky you need Think of that chuck-a-sicky? last word yeah, yeah, yeah i need a chuck a sicky smoke a cigarette it sounds like cigarette yeah. but um, smoke a cig when someone tells their boss they need to take the day off of work chuck a sicky chuck a sicky not a fan how about an ankle biter that's eh, nah mm. <laughs> tally's, tally's well well versed in that um what is david's about to be a child uh, young child i said ankle chihuahua biter. insane <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> uh am ambo like a lambo without the l yeah not quite tally Nothing. I got nothing on this one. Ambo. Uh, it's short for... Hmm? You can't get any let shorter call, than... Hmm? Let me call it the Ambo. The ambulance? Oh, ambulance. ambulance. Gotcha, gotcha. There you go. How about a budgie smuggler? Call me a bambulance. A budgie smuggler? Yeah, a budgie smuggler. <laughs> a budgie smuggler. <laughs> Just looked at the definition. That's awesome. Somebody who steals bungee cords from advanced <laughs> auto parts. Nah, I think more uh, personal. <laughs> <It's> all- <laughs> budgie smuggler. Uh, underwear? <laughs> yeah, so, so men's briefs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a budgie smuggler. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, last one I'll hit you with is uh, a fair, fair dinkum. It's a nice ass. What a fair dinkum. Nice ass. Final answer. Okay. Tally? Like a good call is all I could think of. Yeah. Dinkum. You're pretty. Like a good, like a, yeah. You're pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good. Um, honest, true, or genuine? Uh, Can you use it in a sentence? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think that's it. So you're. Uh, you just meant like in general. Just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, just, he, just. He don't get it. He wasn't there for that. Just take it as it is. I don't know how you were. I, I was there clutch. If you had to wear a Halloween costume every day for the rest of your life, what would you be? Oh. Yeah, banana. I'd be a banana. Banana. Yeah. The banana out costume. It's funny because the first thing I thought of was a gorilla. So I'd be yeah. mm. eating you. Well, yeah, yeah. Mm. No homo. Ben, like uh, in general, though, like I like it. So <laughs> just like in general. <sighs> what would it be, Chris? I don't know. Hold on. Forever. For every day for the rest of your life. Forever. <laughs> Forever, um, ever. Just think of like a, something basic, you know, that you like wear a like a t-shirt or, or something. Or like, yeah. If like like uh, fuck, fuck. Um, I'm gonna get. I'd a, be you, David. I'd be you. <sighs> I'd be. Uh, no, you didn't watch The Office, Tally. Did you watch The Office? Nah. No. Represent no. my hometown, though. But no. I'm gonna go with that slutty that sh- cat. That show takes place in East Wyoming. Nope. Takes place uh, in West Army, by the way, but West, Scran, West Scranton, Scranton, which is Scranton, PA. Yeah, like 15 minutes where I grew up. Yeah, I'm going Slutty Cat. <laughs> That's a good choice. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, booty shorts, whiskers. Yeah. Okay. I don't. Okay. That's that's different. I'd turn my ass hairs into whiskers coming out of my booty shorts. It'd be real good. Th- nothing about that sounds good. Well, for you, oh. I love it. I'm not. A, I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Oh, you know what I got asked today at work was, um, is it headphones or earphones? Depends. Yeah. I'm wearing headphones. You're wearing earphones. Correct. Mm. I'm wearing earbuds. Same thing. Mm. If okay, you had so a wire, your take. would it be earphones? So I said just ear, uh, headphones, like what you guys have on right now, headphones, just hands down. Um, earphones just isn't an American thing. It's just... Is it a different country thing? 
So I didn't actually believe this. And I just said that because I was like, that's un American to say. But yes, actually, it, it is. It's like um, Southeast Asia. Okay. Us in the UK call them headphones. So everyone like Southeast Asia and like. Yeah. Was it somewhere else? Maybe Pakistan or some shit. No, India. Uh, <laughs> India, enemies. Pakistan. <laughs> one of those cricket teams. <laughs> Mortal enemies. Uh, they call it uh, earphones, too. Yeah. Hmm. I can and see most, that. Most of them are fake there, right? At least the ones that uh, I bought in Kuwait. Yeah, Beats by P- uh, by, Pierre. Uh, or not Pierre. R- by <laughs> R. Andre. <laughs> the fuck is Pierre? <laughs> I, I if, if we were talking about France, it would have been good, but Beats, Be- beats by what? R. Andre? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, haven't quite made it. <laughs> they're, by they're, work, they're working on it. Uh, all right, well, I got questions for you guys, I guess. How many? Mm-hmm. Well, one question, um, uh, like eight things. Okay. I want you guys to guess how much these fictional items are worth. Okay. Okay. The first one is going to be a lightsaber. We're talking like U.S. dollar. How much is it worth? Yes, everything's converted to U.S. No, dollar. I was going to go with AUD, but all right. Um, we can go with yen. Keep I'll on the... All right, Tally, fuck you. <laughs> Sickles. Keep or... with the Australian theme. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say $150,000. Okay, Tally. A lightsaber, you're controlling the uncontrollable. Um, but so many people have them now. They've been overproduced. <laughs> I think you can get... I, I think you can get them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You can minute. get one of those the same place you can get one of those Beats by R and Dre. Right. <laughs> I can spend two hundred well, at what, Disney and get one. What are we talking? A real one? Like if you're in the world yeah, right. of Star yeah, Wars, yeah, you live you live in there. Yeah, hundred fifty grand. Okay, that's my, that's my guess. That's my guess. I'm bringing it down though. Maybe like five, five grand. Yeah, it, like I've never seen Star Wars, but every clip I've seen, they all got them. Like it's just like an AR in America, dog. Like every school's got them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Actually. That's that's fair. Uh, what I got was eighty grand. Damn. So you're okay. both kind of way off. Kind of halfway between both of us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're way off the fictional number for the fictional item. All right, next. Right, right. right. Um, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Adam, I I don't make the rules. I just come up with them. Okay. Uh, the next one is a pokeball. One single pokeball. You see Pikachu, throw it at him. How much is? They're it? fairly readily available. I can say five hundred dollars. Okay. Dude, I was going so much higher with this because they're just higher. From what, from what I know about. From what I know about Pokemon, you're like putting a creature inside of it, right? But that's like the base Pokeball. Yeah, there's several, so there, there's right? like five tiers. So like a Pokeball, you have like a low chance of catching it. Then there's like an Ultra Ball and then a something else and then a Master Ball. So it's like the basic, like you can only catch very like... So think of it, if you think of it like comparatively to like dogs, like you're going to catch mm-hmm. like a poodle with this fucking thing. If you want like a Rottweiler, you're not catching it with this thing. So gotcha. you only it's like very basic. I, I, yeah, I'll, gonna, I'll tell I'm you, Chris, stick with Chris's, 500. I'm Chris's just, guess was high. Damn. Well, don't damn. very. What the fuck? Very high. How's he gonna get a hint? And I don't get a hint What's because you here? watched Pokemon religiously like I did, and I don't think Tally did. I've never seen it. Yeah, <laughs> 25 years ago I did. Jesus Christ! You got 25 years on Tally. Never seen Star Wars or Pokemon. I work in IT though. I, I don't know what to talk to about these people. Like I'm like, they're a guy to catch them all. It's like chlamydia, gonorrhea. I, I do, and they're like, no, nah, never. Yeah, you're right. Because I work in IT, and this is all they talk about. Two dollars. Damn. One pokeball is two dollars. Next. The next one is everything in the twelve days of Christmas. Oh, I have a. Very How much is that specific... diamond ring now? I don't know. It's more. It's more than one. Well, it's not. Uh, they didn't uh, say diamond. They just said gold, and that could be like five oh, of them. Um, that could be like. 125,000. 125, that could be like 16 carats. That was a quick answer. Um, I'm going to say three fifty, three hundred fifty thousand dollars $350,000. So according to Forbes.com, I got $34,653. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Put it on a credit Closest card. Without going over, you know? There you go. All right, the next one I got is the, the blue shell from Mario. What's that one do? Uh, <sighs> takes out every other. So like in Mario Kart, if you're in last place, you mm-hmm. get the blue shell. And you fire it off, it hits everybody in front of you. That's incorrect. Okay. No, that's the it, missile thing, isn't it? That's it the bullet. Only, it only hits the first place player, the blue no, shell. It yep. definitely hits the first place. It can hit everyone else. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Hey, I'm at Walmart. You got a blue shell for sale. Um, give me like give me eight hundred bucks for that blue shell. Okay. 
Uh, 350. 15 grand. Jesus Damn. Christ. All right, I got. Two you better more use that you. shit wisely, though. Mm-hmm. Well, I got uh, I got two more and then one that's for Chris because I'm I don't think you'll know. Well, I guess you probably neither of you will know. I'll know. Okay. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> the next one is the flux capacitor. Oh fuck me! They sell that on a. Uh, it's like eighty bucks on Amazon. I think uh, on O'Reilly's. On yeah. O'Reilly, they sell yeah, that. You I got think. the part number and everything on O'Reilly's. Mm-hmm. You talk about um, a real a real flux capacitor. Yes, helps you travel through time. Yep. Thirty eighty six hundred. I got five hundred thousand. Jesus. God. All right, we're we're real good at this game. Go ahead. Next one. The next one. Oh, I got a couple more. Uh, Captain America Shield. That's expensive. That's as fuck. In- expensive. What's I'm it, say uh, one point one point four mil. Man, I I was going thirty four mil. Holy shit! Because like, uh, well, think of, that's the that metal's the rarest metal. Um, fuck, some kind of onium or something. What the. F- uh, yeah, whatever the hell is. So it's eighty-seven million. Jesus Christ! The second to last one. You'd think he'd be like a general, not a captain. All right, go ahead. I'm trying. I'm trying to find how to pronounce this. Um, the Death Star. Mm, One point eight billion. Uh, eight point seven billion. Holy! Uh, multiply that by a lot. <laughs> okay. Eight hundred and eighty-six quadrillion. <laughs> Chris, the last one is uh, the yeah. Time Turner. Oh, um, like from Harry Potter. Oh, uh, six? No, no. Mm. It's expensive. I'm gonna give it a cool mil. I was going six mil. Oh, I'm gonna give it a cool fifty mil. Two hundred billion. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. Yep. Sure. Totally. We want to do a draft of our top five most famous Jameses. I think, I think I should. Be I think the good. guests should go first. Yeah, hundred percent. All time most famous James is fictional, non fictional, first name, middle name, last name, whatever you got. Tal, you got the first overall pick for the James draft. What do you got? I went with uh, all first names for mine. Um, Same. Probably. I already said it before, but number one though would have to be James Dean. I still got to stick with that one. Oh man, I'll eat that sausage any day. Hell That's yeah. Jimmy. That's Jimmy Dean. Same dude. No, nope. uh, no Jimmys. No Jimmys. It's James Dean. The, the, James it's James Dean. Dean. No, no, no. It's James Dean. His no, his actor, fucking breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. His, his You're talking fucking, about the breakfasts, though. The it's breakfast. the same Jimmy person, but it's based off of. The I just most don't want famous. the viewers to to no, no, no. James Dean that is we're talking more about than sausages acceptable. here too. No, 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 no. We're talking about Hollywood greatness, is what we're talking about. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. More than acceptable. Well, I guess I'll go next. Go ahead. Or don't. It's. I got to drink my beer. Right. I think it's clear. We're going James Bond. Fuck. That was fucking my fucking answer. God damn it. Why yeah. do you think I took the initiative to say, I guess I'll go next? Fucking shit balls in my dick hole. All right. Um, <laughs> fucking shit balls in my dick hole. Typical Wednesday. Am I ready? <laughs> damn it. That sounds that, like a poor choice. <laughs> literally threw off all my goddamn shit fuck. Um, You're welcome. <sighs> Fuck. All right. I'm going to go. <sighs> Don't say uh, it. <clears throat> I'm going to go James Brown. I'm going to go All James right. Brown. I mean, not even on my list. That's okay. Oh, I took Woo! him off my list. I had him on I my list. I feel good. Him off. I took him off. Yep. Nice. I went with the I less famous James yeah. singer, but cool. Which, All right. I'm not going to say it because that's not my number two. Uh, James Cameron. Oh, James Cameron. James Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I just see him going down in his sub. I'm James Cameron. <laughs> That's a good pick. He was on my list, too. That's a great pick. A How great did he pick. not get on my list? That's wild. If you guys do anything sports related, James, I'm. No, definitely not. Oh, well, I, I only got one tally that I, I would hope, and I, and I hate to do it, but I would hope you would get it. But with my second round pick, I'm going to go with LeBron James. <laughs> ew, ew. Mm. What a What a bad second pick. I love LeBron, but that's a bad second pick. Dude. I hate LeBron, and I think that's a great pick. It's a bad second pick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the city of Akron, Ohio, would disagree with you. Yeah. Okay. Well, fuck the Zips. Which, All right. Um, what does that um, even mean? LeBron James. The, the Akron Zips. That's their mascot. Oh, that sounds very derogatory. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Number two pick is James Earl Jones. Weak. No, sir. That's fucking Darth Vader. Okay. 
That's your boy I, I from get Sandlot. It. Okay. I mean, come on now. Okay. That is not weak. Well, in my opinion. Anyways. Tally. T- tally, alley, uh, alley. I'll go with who I said before, Franco. James Franco. Yeah, it's good. Good pick. You know, make out with 17-year-olds. That's a good pick. It's a good pick. It's good in my book. As you do. Uh, all right. Got that. Got that. Got David that. said right, so that's good in my book. <laughs> <laughs> we got him, boys. <laughs> we're, right, right. Hey, we're Moving. law-abiding citizens here. You said 17. We're straight. Great movie. All right, go ahead. With my, with my third-round pick, I'm going to go James and the Giant Peach. If you fucking steal my pick one more time, David. <laughs> You're going to do that? Also, go ahead and give me his fucking last name, you son of a bitch. No, without uh, Googling it. It's obviously and the giant peach. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Junior. Junior. It's fucking, it's fucking Trotter, you son of bitches. All right. Fuck. All right. How did I end up in the fucking... All right. Um, Ooh. I should have not went with LeBron. Okay. Dun, 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 you know what? Dun, dun, dun. You know what? I'm Third pick. Pick. Third pick, I'm going to go James P. Sullivan, a.k.a. Ooh. a.k.a. Sully. Sully? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mike Wazowski. That's <laughs> it. That's it. You got it, boss. Um, hey, you what's better the ana- have your paperwork. <laughs> 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 hey, what's the analytics say about your uh, age range of your um, your people? Uh, so we're like 70%, 20 to 40. Yeah. 20 to 40. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll get you specifics. If it's higher on the 40 range, I'm going to say it is, but let me get that for you. Did you say they're they're both singers? Mm-hmm. Hmm. We are 34%, okay. which is okay. the highest, 25 to 34, and then 22%, 35 to 44. So we're mm. highest, 25 to 34. Man, I want, I'm still going to, I think I'm still going to go with them. I, I think he's probably less known if I say his name than the other one, but like the band he played for was more famous. James Hetfield, lead singer Ooh. of Metallica. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, all right, so it's my turn. It is. Hmm. And that was our, f- that was your fourth tally? Yes. Oh, I just thought, I should have been higher on the list, but I just thought about one. All right. Okay. Well, in that case, with my fourth round pick, I'm going to go with the James Webb telescope. Oh, solid. Did you say James Webb, but. <laughs> nope, the telescope. <laughs> more notable than he is i was <laughs> because if i said yeah. james webb you'd be like who the fuck is that and i'd be like the telescope and you'd be like oh Neither- yeah 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 you're right. don't forget i go to sleep every night watching space videos so i wouldn't say who uh, is that. well okay <laughs> that's, that's, that's fair that's fair that's fair uh, I, i'm so pissed that james bond and james trotter were both taken i can't believe you did that you could take one of mine make it easier on me for my next pick <sighs> yeah my top like seven are gone. I'm gonna go with James McLeod, who is uh for you N sixty four fans, Star Fox's boy with the aviators telling him to watch out and stand by and turn left. Don't do that. <laughs> stand by, turn left and don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were pretty like common, like he was just like <laughs> I didn't Chris, I didn't know you were in the military. That's that's uh what? <laughs> don't don't do that. <laughs> he, he also told him, uh, as you're, you're you were, watching Netflix on the flight after. line. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You're on season two of the 100 on the flight line. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I once put 110 miles on the car on the flight line one day. What? Just kept it in drive, my foot off the gas and brake, and just coasted around all day. Chris, the most <laughs> impressive part of that is that's, that's awesome. at like 15 miles an hour. If, yeah. Wait. Maybe maybe like 12. Without touching the gas? Yeah, like whatever you ride in neutral or in when you're in drive and you don't yeah, touch like the Yeah, like two pedal. to three miles an hour on a normal you're car? Cruising. Yeah, it's like seven, what? eight-ish. That's pretty fucking awesome. I, I yeah. hit the gas a few times, but yeah, it's a long day. 120 miles? Jesus Christ. All right, last uh, last pick for me. I, last I pick. Yeah, I'm switching it up from my original list uh, because I didn't think about like last names. LeBron James kind of made me think of the last names thing. Um, okay. Jesse James. Ooh, fucking American outlaw, boys. Damn, he fucking so ran I, out I of his shoes and everything. Nothing, okay. Huh? Yeah, I like that, but people aren't going to know it. What Chris Jesse James? No, no, no. What what I sent him, which would have been a more than appropriate pick based they on just, his lineage. They wouldn't know. They would know his 
the name from the show, but not what? him. Uh, Chris, you'll know it. Maybe I will. Uh, I don't. I don't think there's a maybe about it because I'm gonna. Are you, are you texting it? What's going on here? No, I think I'm just gonna surpass both the things I wanted to do and and take it because I think it's a steal, especially having an Italian on as a guest. Forget about it. Who are you gonna say, Gandolfini? Yeah. 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 Take I'm him. I'm gonna go. I'm take gonna go James. Uh, hold on. Call an audible with my fifth round pick. <laughs> with my fifth round pick, I'm gonna go with the. Uh, St. James Place from Monopoly. Yeah, yeah you would have done better with Gandolfini, dude. <laughs> I don't. Th- I don't think I would have. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Hey, Matt, was that orange or purple? Yep, that's orange. Or anaranjado. So you're on the way to free parking. You're not even there yet. Almost. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How many houses you got? All right. Um, I got a mansion on St. James Place. Uh, look, I got my hotel up. All right. Um. Fifth pick, I am going to take in the James draft. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go James T. Kirk, Captain Kirk. That's my that's my fifth overall pick. Solid choice. <laughs> James Blunt was the other singer I was gonna go with. Oh, okay, okay. I like that. What other ones did like, you have that you didn't say, Tally? Let me pull my list. Back up. I think I knocked them all out. No, yeah, because I had Hetfield and Blunt down on there. And they were gonna, and then I switched out Blunt for uh, Jesse James. Yep. Yeah, that was a good pick. That Jesse was a good pick. That was a steal. That was good. Yeah, Chris, what were your lingers? Um, I had James Madison. Um, so I had James Madison University. I had James Potter. Um, okay. James McAvoy. Um, I had James Halpert, who was Jim Halpert from The Office. Um, actually, that's it. So I only had three, four that I didn't use. Yeah. One thing that just came to mind that wasn't on my list was Kevin James. So I was so proud of having James Bond and James in the Giant Peach. And I can't fucking believe you took. You were pr- so I- I'll give you being Both proud of, of I'll give you being proud of having James in the Giant Peach. But the second we decided on James, James Bond was the first thing in my head. Yeah, it's I don't know how I didn't think of him honestly. It's bullshit. I, so I had JMU Gandolfini, and then I had King James, like the actual <laughs> King James. Yeah. Okay. I King mean, James Bible, best we'll, selling we'll book the, in the world. Uh, whatever, whatever that is, we'll let the listeners decide. I don't. I, if I had to pick a winner, I don't know. That's um, that's. A, I think that's probably the toughest one yet. That's pretty spread out. Yeah, like they were they were all pretty. Yeah. We all had our heavy hitters, and then our. No, well, let me pick this person because because just because just because it's Wednesday. James, because yep. That's so well, funny. You ever watch Juana Man? Juana man, I love you. Would you yeah, when I love he that movie. sends her, he sends her flowers, and yeah, it's like just because it's Wednesday. Mm-hmm. 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 Tis. Well, Is I have flavor? one. Go ahead. I don't. I don't know. Flavor Flav. Uh, it reminds me of him. I it does. Go ahead. I was right? just gonna say I had one more thing, and then I was gonna have uh, Tally speak. Oh yeah, that's not general. Okay, go ahead. So we're gonna play a game of categories. I'm gonna name five things, and you guys are going to tell me the category. So, the first one is unicorn, phoenix, griffin, mystical creatures. S- yeah. Mythical, mythical creature. But yeah, myst- mystical, you know. Mythical. What? Myst- Shake mythical? your ass. So, yeah, watch, watch yourself. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Tally trying to see a unicorn shake his ass. Show me All what right. you're working with. I went to right. a party like that one time. <laughs> As a unicorn or shaking your ass? Yes. Okay. The next one is television, <laughs> personal computer, internet, Mobile phone, jet engine. Like major advances in technology? I'll give it to you. Inventions of the 20th century. Yeah. The next one is yen, euro. Currency. Yeah. Of the world. Good job. The next one is Sicily, Fiji, Madagascar, Green Islands. And capital cities. Tally got it. Islands. Okay. Okay. The next one is Roswell UFO incident, JFK assassination. Conspiracy Moon landing theories. Conspiracies. Okay. Good job. The next one is Klingon, Dothraki, Native Elvish, languages. Part. I'll give it to you. It's fictional, fictional races. Languages. Or, Not yeah, fictional yeah. languages. Languages. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> the next one is di- didgeridoo, harmonica, shofar. Instruments. Yeah. Conch and alfhorn. Uh, wooden instruments, uh, instruments with beads in them. Uh, I guess not. But. How do you play the instruments? So the didgeridoo, you just turn upside down. Uh, you instruments blow and, do, it. and do what? You blow. 
There you go. Instruments you blow into. Mm. You blow into. I mean, you blow into a trombone. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, just those. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got All right. Gotcha. All right. The next one is dodo, Tasmanian tiger, birds, oh. birds that are extinct, mammoth, saber tooth, animals cat. that are extinct, ice age there you go. Uh, creatures, extinct or animals. Uh, okay. All right. Now, I'm, now I'm gonna give you the two that I don't think you'll be anywhere close to getting. Okay. The next one is Leonardo da Vinci, Jimi Hendrix. Marie Curie. Left-handed people. How the fuck did you know that? Everyone Jimmy's knows it. Lefty. Come on, next. Yeah. I have no idea. I would have never got it. All right. And last but not least, <laughs> hydrogen, lithium, boron, nitrogen, and fluorine. Periodic table elements. Um, um, what it takes to make a battery. Uh, wait, lithium. What else was in there? Lithium, boron, hydrogen, boron, nitrogen, and fluorine. Flammable elements uh what in, where are they on the chart uh let's see it's a spectacular idea yeah it's a hint but it's not a good one it is uh, tally will get it based on what he's uh, doing he'll get it. what it takes to make a firework firecracker you can't tell that from looking at the periodic table no but you said spectacular no it's no where like they're literally at. what where, he's it's, doing it's where they're at on the table oh can't uh, picture it all the, order uh, you pulling it up no i would love to, but no, I'm not going to cheat. L- list them again? Oh. Well, yeah, you're not going to get them. But you ha- you literally have to look at them. Oh. Right. Uh, where were they? Numerical Hydro- order on the periodic hydrogen, table? Hydrogen, I mean, lithium, I boron, nitrogen, and fluorine. Oh, uh, it's uh, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. Nine. Let's nope. see, boron. No, because carbon's not in there. So look at look at the numbers. Yep. Lithium. So I said numerical order, no. No. Three. Li- hydrogen. pH levels? Mm. Boron five uh, nitrogen. So one one three five. Oh, uh, prime odd, number. Uh, e- prime numbers, even uh, odd numbers. There you go. Odd numbers. Yeah. Odd numbers on the periodic table. Elements. What does it say? Chemical elements <laughs> with odd atomic numbers. Yeah, we we would have got that if we tried a little longer. Yeah, easy. No, I don't think so. Without looking at it. Without yeah. looking now. Uh, mm. That was sarcasm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Tally, my question for you is uh, sometime within Seven. the next... 42. Mm, all right. I don't think it's a numerical answer. Mm, okay. Oh, mm, okay. Sometime within the next one to, if I had to guess, 48 hours, I'm going to be at the hospital. Can you What's give the question? Me, can you oh, okay. give me tips, advice... Yeah. Uh, do's, don'ts, like hospital any, any, advice, any, anything at all. Okay. So hospital advice. So, so I got, I got. from, from the drive to the hospital to the first two weeks at home. So drive to the hospital, all that you have to understand. Remember like your wedding day, how everyone's like making this big deal. And you realize like, if you, if you realize this as like a, as like a guy, it's like, it's that day is not about you. It's about her. Like we have as as guys, we have not been fantasizing about our wedding since we've been kids. Women have like let that. And that's OK. Like let that be their day uh, with childbirth. It's almost along the same lines. Granted, yes. Have we thought about childbirth more like being a dad? Absolutely. But we're not going through what they're going through. Like anything that she needs, you you don't, you know, question it. You, you just that Rod got you. Roger that sorry, it. and you go yeah. and you go do it. So that's just like during the process of it. Um, don't make any faces. Just be there for it's pretty magical. You're not gonna make any faces. It's amazing, honestly. Um, don't make any faces. <laughs> but like, because they'll be they'll be like it's a, there's a lot that goes into it. But it's pretty awesome. Can you expand upon that just so, uh, <laughs> so I don't like when when will I maybe make faces that. I shouldn't make faces. So I don't mean just faces like comments, uh, things like that. Like that when, if she doesn't do like, if she doesn't go like natural and she gets the epidural and beforehand, they give her different drugs. She'll be acting different, saying different things. She'll be, uh, it just, that uh, there's all these, th- it's like, just keep her calm. All she needs, she just needs to be calm at that moment. It's about to be the most traumatic thing her body has ever gone through. Like, Right. We don't like it's it, there's nothing in the male wor- world that compares to it. And guys could try and say whatever they want until you see that, you know, it's true. It's there's nothing 
in our lifetime that will ever compare to like the women going through childbirth. Um, but that's, that's so natural, dude. And like everyone gives advice for like, Oh, you should do this. You do that. This bottle, that bottle, like the best advice I always tell people is don't listen to people's advice. Like being a parent ends up being the most natural thing in the world. Um, there's little things to be like, Hey, like my baby's like really like doing this. And somebody like, well, mine was too. And I tried this. That's different. That's not saying, Nope, you're doing this wrong. You You should be doing that. Like, yeah, not like like guy poking your ass. Don't listen to those people. And then the only other thing that I like, I've ever really told people, which was just something that helped me. And that's how I say it. It was this DVD, this short DVD. I don't even know if it was 15, 20 minutes long. It was called the happiest baby on the block. And man, in those first couple of months, like when you're trying to like learn your baby and like, why are they crying? I can't get them to stop. It's just, it's this little DVD. It's called happiest baby on the block. And I watched that like two or three times and I just followed what that guy said in that. And it was like a game changer. It was, it really was a game changer. I would recommend okay. that DVD to everyone. And maybe yeah, it won't it work DVD. for some, but yeah. The, uh, what are these people called that help? I with found it. I found Lacta- uh, lactation consultant. The lactation consultant brought it for us and it was amazing, man. Okay, I have. I see paperback, hardcover. <laughs> That's not a DVD. Uh, VHS. No, maybe? it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was just the first thing that popped up. I mean, it's probably something I could download, right? If I'm, I mean, I work in cybersecurity, so if I want it, I can have it. I just like the title of lactation consultant. Like, how do I? Yeah. Go? <laughs> That's a. <laughs> That's a thing. It's a thing. Trust me, it's a thing. <laughs> No so. one, I tell, I, no one ever tells you about that first day at home. That baby is going to scream, and you're going to think like it's something's wrong or it's sick or like dying. Just, that bait that 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 baby has never been anywhere like this. Is it's wild? It's it's a whole new world. It really it's it's everything. They have net. It's so new to them. It's overwhelming for a baby. Like. You bring them home and it's, they're just going to scream and cry and you're not doing anything wrong. It's just. So just don't get concerned. Like yeah, you will. No, bro, you will. I'm telling you, there's something of you just, you just will. I'm just, instinctually. Yeah. But like, yeah. Yeah. Inside, you got to know that it's normal yep. kind of mm-hmm. thing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And uh, I think, I think that's it. Don't listen to people's. Like <laughs> you have, you should be doing this advice. Don't yeah. ever listen. That's the so bas- basically talk to your parents and ask them how they raised you instead of uh, conforming to Facebook mom groups and them. But saying, even st- give so give those, ginger and maple syrup in their diaper. Those, and- those groups are good when you have those specific things. Like like man, my baby won't. Like I am just. I got this like Doctor Brown's bottle that everyone recommended and everything. I got every and it's just not working. Those mom groups are good for them. Be like, hey, I did this, this, and this. And people will be like, oh, so yes, we also had that same issue. It was this or whatever. And then this is what helped us, you know? But like just little things like microwave the bottle for 30 seconds. Trust them. Not like hang your baby upside down over the deck and shake it for. No, no. The big thing is ignore them. Do that. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) With the dogs below. Basically, basically what I'm saying is the the little things, like the things you're looking for, like tips and tricks, trust them. The big things rely on instinct. Yep. I would say it's like look when you when you're looking for answers for something, that's where you get those advice from people. But when you're not and people just offer that shit to you, that's just it's Mm -hmm. people always think their way is the right way. Like, so ask the question, look for the answer, but don't take a, like, if I were you, I would do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's going to be a, I know you're a couple hours behind, so that's fortunate for me. So uh, you might get a lot of probably your time 6 p.m. phone calls where I'm like, hey, uh, you want to help a brother out? Yep. Kinda Last thing, if, she, if she's going to be breastfeeding, man, like. Just be there. There's nothing you could do in those moments, but like let her know that like she's not alone in the middle of the night. Like when Ariana would be breastfeeding, like it'd be like in the middle of the night, I'd be like, sorry, like it sucks. Like you have to go do this. I'd still like I'd go up and like just like lay in the room and like put my hand on her leg just so like I was like, Hey, you're not alone in this. Like it's little things yeah. like that because they're like the women go through such crazy hormone changes afterwards that like and again, it's not you, it's not them. They're just like 
their body is trying to normalize. Are, yeah. And it's not, and they're going to like, they're like the emotions are different and stuff. And it's not like, it's not on them or it's not on you. It's not on the baby, but like, it is like, let the, just anything that you could do to like, Hey, you're, we're in this together. Like, even if yeah. I can't breastfeed, like I'm here with you, like, you know, let right. them know. That's all. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, if you got any, <clears throat> if you got any, uh, <laughs> other things that spring into your mind, you got my number, let me know. All, all right, right Chris, you want to, you want to you hit him with the outro? Me or hit what? Who? You. Oh Talk yeah, about fuck it. esports kids. Yeah, Tally, you can't. You probably can't say it. Yeah. Uh, for all the esports nerds out there, Tally says, "Fuck y'all." And That's your right. parents and ever you've ever loved. And get your mom out of here. and your well, I don't want to talk about shit about their family. Listen. Yeah, I don't um, care. Tally, say something in Italian. Affangu esports kids. That's ah, just, there you go. How about that? One of my favorite memories with Tally is the time that him and I went to Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. And uh, I, I think at that point I had known that he wasn't a very big sports guy. Okay. And I, I can't remember how it came up or, or what was on or or, or what. It, and it wasn't like super early into our friendship, but we were there and he had said, you know what I like to do when I go to bars? Like root for the root for the other team that everyone else isn't rooting for. Yeah, he said you find the loudest guy in the bar. Absolutely, and yeah. you root for the other team. Yeah, and I was like, that's fucking brilliant. Absolutely, 